What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. I am Kendall Otter from Otter Creek Aquatics and today I want to take a look into the 55 gallon and talk about one of my absolute favorite fish in the fish room right now and that is the Melanotania Praycox or some people like to call it the Dwarf Neon Rainbow Fish. Now let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and dive in. So you may already be familiar with the Dwarf Neon Rainbow Fish because it is one of the more common rainbow fish in the aquarium market. But if you're not familiar with the Dwarf Neon Rainbow, what to expect is a really beautiful blue shimmering scale. And typically you'll see red on the males and yellow on the females. And these fish actually breed or flash almost every single day. So when the lights are out, You'll be able to see them twirling around and flashing at each other. And then when you turn the lights on, you can literally see a really dark stripe from the dorsal fin all the way down to the tip of the nose. It is absolutely stunning to see. And it's probably one of my favorite parts about owning this fish. You've probably seen them swimming in the tank behind me as I've been talking about this fish so far. But this is a schooling fish. So you're going to want to keep them in a group of at least six or more. And typically you're going to want to have more females than males. That's just going to help with things like aggression. And I know this can get hard, especially when you're buying fish online. And you're ordering fish that are an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. That they're just scooping up and they're coming in unsexed. But if you're going to the local fish store and you're actually picking your own fish out, you want to try and strive for this or at least get an even match that's just going to help you down the road and that's just going to spread some tension out throughout the tank and these fish typically eat mid-water but they will often sometimes eat off the top of the water so what you're going to want to feed them is some flake food or a slow sinking granule they really go nuts for frozen foods like frozen blood worms frozen cyclops frozen brine shrimp and I also feed some live baby brine shrimp you can see them swimming around the tank and munching on that it's super awesome like other rainbow fish the prey cox really loves a heavy planted tank so make sure you get some live plants in the tank not only is it going to make the fish feel more comfortable but it's also going to be able to help clean that water because they really do love clean water so make sure you're keeping up on your water changes. And if possible, you can even throw a power head in because they do love swimming against the current. And if you're able to do all these things, it's just going to make owning this fish and actually watching it swim in your tank so much more enjoyable. And you really can't beat that bright blue color on the backdrop of a live green planted tank. When it comes to water parameters on this fish, they're pretty lenient when it comes to temperature. You can run them anywhere from 73 degrees all the way up to 82. I keep mine about 76. And they like a little bit more hardness in their water. So if you have a little bit harder water, then these Dwarf Neon Rainbows are definitely going to thrive in your tank. And my pH is running about 7.6. And like I said, I'm getting non-stop spawning non-stop flashing out of these guys every time the lights come on they got the stripe down the back and they're just going nuts flashing at each other so make sure you keep them at a good temperature and add a little bit of hardness and you're definitely going to get a thriving fish the dwarf neon rainbow fish is kind of a beginner rainbow fish they don't get very big probably three to three and a half inches so you're not going to need such a large tank you could probably get by with a 20 long or possibly even a 29 gallon but I have mine in a 55 and they're just constantly swimming back and forth so the bigger the tank the better but if you're wanting to get some rainbow fish if you had a 20 long or a 29 gallon then a group of six would be perfectly fine so let me know what you guys think of this Prey Cox Dwarf Neon Rainbow Fish down in the comments below if you've kept them before please let me know your experiences and any other tips that you have for people that may be wanting to get into them. I'm getting more into rainbow fish 
So I definitely want to hear what your guys' favorite types of rainbows are. I'm definitely weighing my options, and I want to hear from you guys. But that's all I have for this video. Keep following your dreams, and keep on tanking.